Miss Major once said, I would want a society and a place to live and be comfortable whereby you didn't have to look over your shoulder, where you could walk down even a dark street and not worry that the boogeyman does exist, real or imagined, where people were taken care of and looked after, where mental illnesses and issues were dealt with from a compassionate point of view instead of with a cattle prod in a chair. I couldn't agree more with Miss Major. She was one of the leaders of the civil rights movement as we know it. Miss Major is a black trans woman who fought in the Stonewall riots 50 years ago. She and other trans women of color, including Marsha P. Johnson and Sylvia Rivera, led a fight toward equality. Normal, everyday LGBTQ folk came together because they were fed up and they demanded that they be respected. Today, trans people are still here demanding the same thing. Last year, the lucky of us lived through one of the deadliest years on record for trans folks, 2017 being the worst. Let us not forget the names of the trans people who all happen to be black trans women this year who were murdered in the United States. Malaysia Booker, Tamika Washington, Claire Legato, Dana Martin, Ashanti Carmen, Paris Cameron, Joanna Medina Leon, Chanel Lindsay, Jazeline Ware, Chanel Skurlock, Laylene Polanco, Zoe Spears, and Brooklyn Lindsay. Six of these black trans women were murdered during Pride Month. We're still fighting against attacks in broad daylight. We're still fighting for housing, for jobs, for health care, for the right to exist in public spaces, and for the control over our own bodies. People, and I say people instead of women because abortion is a transmasculine and non-binary issue as well, these people who are able to become pregnant are being told they're not allowed the freedom to choose to make the best decisions for their own bodies and for their own families. The current administration in the White House is attempting to roll back protections for LGBTQ people, for women, and for people of color. Many states are trying to continue to spread this fire of hate and to deny trans people from using the bathroom or exist in public spaces. These attacks are not easy to process, and it's okay to feel hurt, it's okay to feel scared, but don't allow fear to consume. Don't let this be discouraging. They can attack us, but we are still bleeding rainbows. Positive affirmations are so healing and encouraging, and they definitely help me. We must remind ourselves that the power that we possess. There are hundreds of millions of us. We've always been here. We're still fighting, and we still don't have all the protections that we deserve, but we're gonna get there. Trans people are worthy of the same rights as any older white cisgender heterosexual man in office. Luckily, we have the power to make positive change. We have the power to share our stories. I see more and more people, just everyday heroes, rising up to speak out against hate and share their story. Big steps are being taken forward. The House of Representatives passed the Equality Act. The World Health Organization removed being transgender from their list of mental disorders. Taiwan ruled same-sex marriage is legal. There's also an increasing amount of trans visibility and glass ceilings being shattered. 2018 was a huge year for trans people. There were so many glass ceilings being shattered and it's really comfortable to know that we live in a world where so many people are succeeding. There's so much to celebrate and so much to be thankful for this year as a community. So let us use Pride Month and every single day to celebrate one another, to support one another and spread love. We're all in this together and we can overcome any obstacle that's, that we face. We're the most resilient group of people I've ever witnessed. This fight isn't over, so let us choose love, not fear, and let us take time to celebrate the wins that we have accomplished. Love will win.